This is just a test. The big one comes later. There are multiple ways you can do this, but this is the easy, easiest way I found to do it. You have um, LegalZoom and you have other sites that are similar to LegalZoom that will pretty much do the paperwork on your behalf for a price. Um, I went through these people right here, incinkfile.com, um, and it took about three days. And the reason it took about three days is because I paid the extra money for it. You don't have to pay the extra money, but I wanted I wanted mine to go ahead and be set up. So you come to this site and you come right here to entity type. You just click the drop down menu and you select which one that you want to do. LLC, S Corp, C Corp, nonprofit. Majority of you, this is where you're going to be at. You want to be an LLC. Now, if you want to S Corp or C Corp or nonprofit, you need to do your own research and find out which one is going to be best for you. So we're going to click on LLC to keep it simplified. And then we're going to click right here, state of formation, whatever state you're in. We're in Georgia or Alabama. Um, different states have different tax laws. A lot of corporations and a lot of LLCs will set their uh, corporations up in Delaware and, and also in Nevada. Again, you got to do your own research in regards to that because you don't want to uh, get in over your head and then mess stuff up or whatnot. So we're going to keep it simple. We're going to click Georgia, get started. Um, I started one earlier, so we're going to start over. Start your business in three easy steps. Now it's going to give you these packages. Uh, 499, 149, and 299. Then you got your silver, you got your gold, and you got your platinum. All this right here, you don't need it. I'm gonna show you why. The silver prepares and files the articles of organization. This is what you're gonna need um, to open up a bank account. And that's pretty much said that you are legit from the state that you do your LLC or you form your LLC or whatever you're forming in. Unlimited name, availability searches. This is just gonna make sure whatever name, that you have for your LLC that it's available. Register agent service for one full year. You get it for free, either one. So I went with this, you don't have to. Um, the register agent is just a person who uh, is listed on the business that is able to receive important documents. 99% of the time, that's gonna be you. Got some other stuff, activated, activate Google advertising statement in Resignation of the organizers, that's going to be you. Unlimited phone and email support, online order status tracking, um, business tax consultation, next business day processing, lifetime company alerts, online access to incorporation documents. This is what I did. Um, what they do is they keep them on file so you can go, you can go on there and you can download them at any time. Uh, you have the employer identification number or EIN tax ID. They're charging $70 for this. You ain't got to pay no $70. You see with this package, it comes for free. You don't need to go. You don't need the platinum and you don't have to pay $70 for it. I'm going to show you how to get it for free. Operating agreement. You can print this out online. So you ain't got to pay them no $40. Corporation bylaws. You can find these online or a template and then adjust them to your corporation. You ain't got to pay them no $30. Corporation organizational meeting minutes, you ain't got to pay them that. Banking resolution, you don't have to pay them that. Business contract templates, 150. All this stuff right here, you can find online. You just, it's just a matter of putting the time in. You ain't got to pay these folks for that. So it's going to save you some money. Business website and domain name, y'all already know you can set up a domain name easily. You're going to need that. Uh, when it comes time to setting the things up for your for your business and your corporation so you can get the money from the bank. 
custom corporate LLC kit, $99. You don't need that. You can go to Office Max and they have a book uh, that you can get for like $10. And what you do is you print your documents out and you have them printed on, on cardstock, the heaviest cardstock that they have. And then you have them bonded in that book and the book comes with a sticker and you can customize the sticker however you want to. And then you have a, you know, you, you look official. You pretty much have this. So you ain't got to pay no hundred dollars for that. You can pay, um, I think I paid $15. And what I did was I had the book made and my papers printed on cardstock. And I also had my, um, or papers of, uh, my articles of organ, <laughs> excuse me, articles of organization printed on regular paper to bring to the bank. And also if I need to, um, give it to somebody or they want to see it or whatever for business purposes. Uh, so you don't need all this. Electronic delivery is free. Express shipping. This is if you want the hard copper paper, hard copper paper, <laughs> hard copper, hard copy paper. <laughs> um, it's $25. Again, you can go to your local office max or whatever and do that. You don't have to pay them $25. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Well, I guess I got to select one. Uh, I got to do it over again. Yeah, thought I already did that. Okay, LLC, Georgia. There we go. So the package is forty nine dollars, and the state charges a hundred dollars. So you're looking at one hundred and forty nine dollars. I knew something was missing. We already went over all of that. So now we're going to get started. So you're looking at pretty much $150 to start your own business legally. So you're just going to fill this information out. Mine should already be up there. I'm going to go back up so y'all can see this. First name and last name, uh, your address. Your phone number, your email address. You want to have a legit email address. Whatever your business is going to be, you need to have an email address that matches it because it's going to help you when it comes time to get uh, your credit cards and your money from the bank. You don't want to use some little Bobo 1983 at Gmail. It ain't going to work. You want everything to be legit because you are legit. So next we're going to click next. Okay. Right here, it's going to tell you that it typically takes 15 business days to get this process done. So you can expedite this in two days for $150 or you can not do it and it take 15 days. I did it and it brought the price up to 299. So I paid $300 to form my LLC. If you don't want to do it, then you wait your 15 days and pay 149. We click next. Then you want to um, have your LLC name. So we're going to go with one, two, three, it's on me. And then we're going to select this and just come down here and what you wanted to say. Limited liability company, LLC, L.C. We're going to go with the um, standard LLC. So we have one, two, three, it's on me, LLC. Because one, two, three, this is on me right here. Your type of business and your purpose, we're going to say um, retail. Number of members or owners, if you're going in business with somebody else, excuse me, then you have um, multiple owners. Um, if you have a C Corp or S Corp, you have officers and stuff like that. Again, do your research on that. So we're going to click one. Then we're going to use the same contact address. It filled it out for me already. Then we're going to click next. And this is where they try to sell you stuff. You don't need this stuff. You can do all this stuff yourself. This is um, a little kit 
that hundred dollar kit, whatever. All nice and pretty. If you want that, you can get it, or you can do it yourself. This is what it comes with. EIN number. We're gonna show you how to get that for free again. Your operating agreement, your bank resolution, express shipping with tracking number. So we're still at one hundred and fifty dollars. Majority of us spend that a week. So you want to make sure you click this. They slick because they got it where you can't hardly see it. So we're going to click that. No thanks. And then member information. Please provide the name and address of each of the initial members of the LLC. This is going to be you. You will click company if you already have a company or a corporation or LLC and you're trying to do business under uh, another name or whatever, but that business still being under your business. So the name of my business is Heaven to Earth Services LLC. So if I was to do this, I would click on company um, and it would be under one, two, three, it's on me would be under Heaven to Earth Services, but we're not gonna do that. We're sticking to individual and it should fill it out for me. There you go. You just fill your information out. Again, majority of the time, this is going to be you. Unless you're doing it for somebody else, then you click next. Register agent information. Only Inc. File offers one full year of registered agent service free with every new order for incorporation service, a $99 value. Now, I did keep this because it was free. Um, it saves you a little bit of time. It says every state requires a corporation or LLC to have a registered agent called by some states, resident agent, statutory agent, or agent for service of process. Again, you can go to your own research and see what a registered agent specifically is, but it's just a person that's authorized to receive um, important documents pertaining to your uh, your uh, corporation, which majority of the time is going to be you. It tells you right here, the function of the agent is to accept official legal and tax correspondence from the state of formation, such as service of process, litigation notices, et cetera, and to pass it on to you. Items that are not from the state of formation will not be accepted except for junk mail, which will be discarded. The agent address must be a street address in the state of formation. U.S. Postal Service P.O. boxes are not accepted by the state. So you cannot use a P.O. box uh, for a registered agent. Um, so I use them. It's free. And after the year, you can always change it to yourself. Or whatnot it just makes the process easier they're not going to automatically charge your card either so that's a good thing now right here they're going to try to sell you an EIN number you're going to need this for your business um, it just tells you what an EIN number is for we're going to read this real quick an EIN is required to establish a bank account in the name of the business and to properly pay an account for any wage payroll employees it is also required to file your federal taxes the EIN is often referred to as a federal employer identification number or tax ID number. The EIN is a number that is assigned to your corporation or LLC by the IRS and is used by the IRS for the purpose of filing taxes. So you need this because you don't want it to be under your uh, social security number. Um, when it's under your social security number, that's when you are doing a sole proprietorship. So we're going to click no because they are charging $70 for this. I'm going to save y'all some money for free because I love y'all. So they're going to try to get you to set up an account with Bank of, Amer Bank of America. We're going to say no. You can go to whatever bank you want to. If you want to go to Bank of America, then you can. I'm with Wells Fargo, myself, for my business. Um... Electronic delivery, this is included, or you can get FedEx Express. 
um, me and they'll ship it to you. We're gonna do electronic to save that twenty-five dollars. We still at one forty-nine. Click next. Boom. Order review. One, two, three. It's on me. LLC. Then this is just your review page. State of formation, Georgia. Entity type, LLC. You can make your changes here. Contact information. That's me. I got my business phone number up here. I got my, my email. Um, the business service that I go through to have my business phone number is called... Um, um i forgot the name of it my wife she should be watching this video so baby if you're listening go ahead and put that uh that information so they can go uh they can know where to go to get their business line i think they charge 20 dollars a month that also includes a fax number so for 20 dollars a month you get your business line you can have extensions let's say you have multiple people in your business you can have this number, like my number is 706-705-0035, but my extension is 804. And my wife, she has a completely different extension. So when they call this number, it says Heaven and Earth Services. We can also show you how to do that, where it says your business, even before you pick up. Through that service, you can also have it ring to, let's say, your house phone. And when the house phone rings, it will say your number, it will say this number, whatever your number is, your business number, so that you will know it's your business line. And then you can forward it, and some of you know this, you can forward the calls so that if you're not at home, then it will ring to your cell phone and it will do the same thing. Your cell phone will ring and it will say, one, two, three, it's on me, Inc. So I know that that's a business call, so I can answer the call and then, thank you for calling, um, one, two, three, it's on me, how may I assist you? So that's a little nugget for y'all. If you got any questions, uh, you can ask me afterwards or you know, contact me personally. Um, this is just to review information. One, two, three, it's on me, LLC, address, type of business, retail. Uh, the member is me, then we're gonna click next. They talk about business licenses and permits. Y'all know about that. You know if you need a business license or a permit to do something, we're gonna click no thanks. I do it for myself because they want to charge you $99. You can get all this stuff online for free. Don't let these folks bust your head. Business tax consultation. You see, majority of this is um, them trying to sell you stuff. The easiest part is over with. To tell you the truth, this is free. So you can click that if you want to, but of course you know they're gonna try to sell you something after the fact. Payment information. So boom, right here, you enter your information that you're gonna use to pay for this. And um, you click pay now and guess what? You're pretty much done. They're gonna update you, they're gonna send you an email showing you, um, well, showing you what's going on, showing you the status. I did mine on a Saturday and by Wednesday, I was officially incorporated. I did mine on a Saturday and by Wednesday, I was officially incorporated. Now, again, that's because I paid the extra $150 um, to go ahead and get my paperwork. And that's because I've been a sole proprietor for about 10 or 11 years. And I already had things in motion. I've been self-employed for, for a while now. So that's why I went on ahead and paid that money or whatever. But I mean, the choice is yours. So it's, it's that easy to set up your corporation of course it took longer because you know i was walking through the process but it should take you no more than 30 minutes and 150 dollars majority of us spend that a week so now i'm gonna show you how to get your ein number for free all you want to do is you want to go to this website matter of fact let's go back so you can see it i'm gonna show you what i did i went to google I typed in EIN number and then I scrolled down. What you're looking for is the official government website. And you see one right there, um, but I clicked on this one right here. Apply for an employer identification number EIN online. 
and that's the irs.gov so we click it it takes us to the website you want to read this and then um, determine your eligibility you may apply for an EIN online if your principal business is located in the United States or US territories the person applying online must have a valid taxpayer identification number social security number ITIN EIN you are limited to one EIN per responsible party per day so this is what you would do after you are incorporated after you have your business and everything set up and you get your corporation papers and stuff like that then you want to apply for this so all you're going to do is come down here and click apply online now it says that it is uh, available because we are outside of the hours that's why yeah let's go back up yeah monday to friday 7 a.m to 10, 10 p.m so we can't do we can't do it right now but you just want to click apply online now during these business hours and then you just go through the whole process is step by step nothing simple i mean nothing uh complicated so that's pretty much it on how to start your own business